Hello there and welcome back for this video. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how you can use the, the carousel. The carousel is using when you want to change the images and uh, have a kind of slider. I know there will be a lot of different uh, frameworks for, for creating nice sliders but bootstrap view have one built in. I think it's based on the original bootstrap. So I will show uh, how this uh, bootstrap uh, view carousel will work and uh, how we can change the slides with custom data and, and something like that. And before we are starting to, to work with this video, I really hope you want to subscribe. Uh, if you don't know how to subscribe, you can go in the right corner below and click on the ding. And then you want to subscribe my channel. Give it a like if you like this video and if you have any questions, please uh, use the comments fields. I will try to answer as fast as possible. And if you need the, the source code, you can go in for the description. All the links to my GitHub profile will be below there. Thank you, and let's begin to do some code. The first we want to, to do now is just to create the B uh, castle here, and uh, then we say <coughs> what we want to, to work with, and uh, I will uh, use the controls and then we need the indicators and then we're going to say the image uh, width should be 1024 and the image height should be uh, 480 that's the height of the image the control is uh, we have the arrows in, in right and left side so you can click to the next side and indicators is a little bit down i'll show you that and the height and the width will be the format of the image then we need to make a castle a slide and in this slide we don't need anything inside here we only need to the image source source sorry and i use the thumbnails so pixel dot photos and then we need the 1024 uh, and 480 and then we need the image image 10 11 12 30 40 let's go in for the browser and see how this uh, smooths this will work what i mean is this is the controller the error here and error here and this below down here is indicators so you can click down below and, and you can slide. We can click up here and click back. So that's basic the, the how the castle is working. And uh, the next I want to, to speak about now, it's uh, I think we want to change the text on the first slider here, uh, this one. And I will have the a header and then I want the text on the slider. So, so let's go back to the editor and, and add some text to the first one. And uh, we can just do it here to say caption and first slide. And what we want to do now is say text and what we put in here to say could be hello world small uh, small text here. And that's one we're gonna do. I'm really annoying about the tabs sometimes. And then going back for the for the browser, you can see first slide, and then we have a small here. It's a hello, hello world, small text here. And if you're going for the next, it's gone. So so now we basically have a, a slide image with a fine text. So if you want to describe the the slide, uh, the text slide, you can do this. And we're going back and. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is this one and we want to create the HTML normal normal so I'll say hello world and then you can say see we can put some text inside here and it will go inside the text we can see it here hello world then now it's enabled to create my own uh, HTML header tags so we have the first slide and the second slide here so it depends on what the, what the purpose is with the slide and I think it would be nice to show about uh, how we can create the custom image uh, image um, slide when uh, working with the the slot image. So that's going 
back for the 12th slide here and uh, we just copy this one because for now we don't need this one we will build it inside the, the v, v slot so the template here should be the v slot and the v slot should be image and uh, i'll just say this one and uh, this is the image tag and in the image tag, tag we want d block and image fill and v100 and then we say width 1024 and then we need a height 1024 uh, 480 that's what i mean and that's meaning if i just create this and insert twice if i change the purpose of this 2048 and 960 still keep the 12 image and then we're going back to the browser you will see the third one we still have the custom image here so this is the third one if i'm inspected you can see we have the right image here and it's scaling down for 1110.520 and it's it's keeping that's in mind so that's working with the custom slot and then i think we should go back for the editor and we say the four slide here should not have anything let's say we want to use this slide for like a text or something like that then, then we can say this one we can say blank image and we can just say the image blank here and uh, the style we want to use here should be background light sky blue that's fine for me and we can go inside and create some text here and say my custom slide without in image here let's go back for the slide here the four slide you can see the blank image and my custom uh, my custom slide with the with the with any without any uh, Im image here so so that's what we we're gonna have right now then i think we need to copy the slide uh, a little bit so we can work with the with it oh no we don't we don't do that what i want to to, to use is uh, to tell you you can use the no animation the no animation it's like when you do this it's just sliding you can see it's very fast and that's not so beauty then you can use the fade i'm just coming this out you can use fade and going back to the browser okay something is wrong here now we can just uh, let's animation uh, no animation i just put it here so you can use it if you want and then we have the fade you can see it's it's much it's much more beauty here when it's fading it's, it's look like it's look more like a, a slideshow you have let's go back here and remove the fade again i will put it up here and i think it's fine for you to have this so you can see what's happening no breaking space and uh, if you want to start with the slide anywhere we can uh, basically just see uh, on this one and say whoops uh, say v model and then say slide and in, down in the data we, we go into a slide here and we're starting with the with the zero like it's in, in javascript it's uh, all the arrays starting with zero i think it's almost the normal one with every programming language it's doing in php and python and c and something like that i cannot recognize where the arrays is starting with one so in the computer world uh, a, a bunch of uh, list it will always start with zero zero is number one and uh, if you have five items inside the four will be the last one so let's say we want to end with the with the slide four then we will basically have uh, the last one 
should be the when we reload here. Yes, and this is. So now we're starting with the last slide. So we have the custom here. So let's starting with the slide number three. Number four, but the ray item number three. And now we're starting with the black image and that's working pretty well. The last thing I want to speak about before we end, end the, this video is the interval. You can see we, we build it in, in milliseconds here. So now I will fade every one second and every second you want to change the image. And this way you can change the speed about the the slide is working. So I think that's it. Let's speed a little bit down to three seconds. It's more beauty. And now it's every three seconds. It will be changed the image. Thank you for having you here today. And remember here in the top, we have no animation and fade. That's the variant of this slide. And uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the thing below in the right corner. And I really hope you want to like this uh, video too. Share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, please make comments below. And I really hope you want to see you again. And remember about the Git uh, links will be in the descriptions. Thank you and hope to see you next time. Bye.